Okay. So the idea behind this paper is uh, to basically collect uh, the different types of packaging practices going on in different parts of the world. And it's a kind of tribute to all the practitioners in uh, supply chain sector, how they are trying to reduce the use of plastic by making use of any other things, many other alternatives. So I have been going through different um, articles in journals and trade, trade journals and newspapers. And I thought I should be writing this paper so that uh, I can collate all those new innovative ideas which are being uh, shaped in different parts of the world. So this was the basic, basic uh, motivation behind writing this paper. So sustainable operations uh, and supply chain are the kind needs of global business environment. We are, we are getting reports from newspapers on how to reduce the use of plastics in different activities, operations, and supply chain. Governments all over the world are trying to enact laws to reduce plastic products and encourage the use of biodegradable packaging. So they are thinking of uh, um, reducing the use of packaging. Focus on some of the sustainable packaging approaches being adopted by companies in New Zealand and other parts of the world for improving operational efficiency and of course environmental sustainability. This paper is based on a range of articles in the trade journals, newspapers and academic journals where the importance of sustainability has been highlighted. This is a paper problems in a place called Nelson because of uh, the hard regulations and also they had to face increased costs because they wanted to pack different types of apples, of size, variety, color. So health and safety regulations have also increased the cost. Many pack houses had to invest in color graders leveling machines and also 
they were trying to put a sticker on every apple. All those things have really added costs to different different uh, houses, and many had to even close them down. Okay, there are two aspects actually. One is, of course, um, uh, supermarkets and customers. They are very happy to see those stickers and uh, where they are coming from, what is the brand. But uh, for uh, houses and supply chain, a lot of a stressful time and very and too much extra work. So this is this is the this is the idea behind this one. I had visited one company called Mr. Apple here in New Zealand. Mr. Apple is a very famous uh, um, grower and exporter of when I visited the company, I found that they are uh, trying to apply some principles of clean management, very basic principles like 5S and all, to minimize uh, waste for resources. But they are not taking models like different types of principles. Learning and applying in to participate in all those new ideas and implement them in their operations. So that's a good point. I just try to, based on my readings of different articles in different journals, I try to create this format or I say that uh, um, all those papers are highlighting sustainable packaging. They are talking about reasons, modern technology like in in seasonality of demand of labor force. Many growers are inclined to go for automation or robotics in their fruit picking activities. This is generally labor, labor seasonality is there. Only for a few months, there is a high demand for labor forces and they are basically hired from many Pacific countries nearby, but they can't be here in New Zealand for all the times to in the in future. So they have to go back once the fruit picking season is finished. They basically come on a visa, which is called RSC, Recognized Seasonal Employment Scheme. So they remain here only for three months. So that's a kind of operational challenges. Saying that this year there will be lots of fruits on the ground and less in the market, so price of fruits will be very, very high. But God is to do been exacerbated by COVID-19 situation because 
even though government wants to bring uh, labor from overseas, but they can't bring because of this pandemic situation. That is the problem. So this is a kind of problem for this year. Hopefully, due to vaccination in progress, I think they are continuing to be there from there's some there's some disadvantages of this work here because everyone they are hired they need to be trained or trained and they can only be employed for three months. Now, the most important aspect of this paper is talking about uh, packaging. Is this chain. According to Stockholm, if we replace crabs, the number in the share life will go from the store to this. The same plastic will last more than a century and come to most nations. So, we know the packages might be from this to come. Seven eight million per annum of plastic package produced globally, only fifteen percent is recycled. So it's very less than the combined million tons. Now, in this effect, our goals are from Holland, and not just a simple card book tracking. Okay, that is from the past. Go globally with no restrictions or limitations. Good things same size plot of planted trees. So this idea could be taken to many other other countries. Argos is working also for snack cups made with 80% cardboard and they want to replace it. They want to make it a kind of substitute to PET, polyethylene tetra chloroform or something tetra something. It's a kind of plastic. Similarly, McGregor reports that most supermarkets are charging for plastic bags, including in New Zealand. So we are just trying to find out what are the different ways by which retailers and supermarkets are trying to replace plastic by something different or either, either reduce so by putting some price on polythene bag rather than making it free they are uh, basically helping sustainable practices these are some of the examples of these pictures are basically giving some idea how Paper boxes can be used for plastic. Paper boxes can be used in place of plastic, and uh, they say that, say according to Delphin, plastic era is over, and it is logical to have 100% recyclable cardboard packaging, which has got two advantages. One is the openings in these, these are the openings. The openings in cardboard make apples visible to customers, and second. They are difficult to be removed as long as the packaging remains intact. So it is visible and it is also not possible to steal. These are other packaging materials, paper. They are all biodegradable. So here we have this paper. So the three that many types of material in place last. Of using some alternate 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 material in place of plastics. By products which are basically wasted in the process of making oil, juice, wine, or sugar. Or use the 
but they are a great source of bioactive compounds, polyphenols, vitamins, and minerals. The amount of restoration of potentially last. Per annum of food wasted from production, production stage to consumption stage. They also use this is very important. This one in 2019, a report to came from New South Wales Australia developed the process to turn banana plantation based into nanocellulose film, it's a kind of starch, which can be used for food packaging. Banana fruit generally comprises 12% of the plant and the rest is usually discarded after harvesting the fruit. Researchers were interested in the pseudo-jam, the left trunk of the plant, some of these are used for textiles and Similarly, in another company called Green Science, A Sciences, community company, which is focused on the food classes, and they are making a real strategies in the world for fruits and vegetables. They are very, they have, they have got very good shock absorbing capability. So for transporting to remote places, they can be used. So around two, many two minutes. Okay, two minutes. So I think I will go to uh, the conclusion section. So from the discussion, it is clear that lots of efforts are being focused on manufacturing, agriculture, and utilities. There are many manufacturing practices being undertaken by companies, educators, researchers, and innovators. Okay. It is noted that while there is an appetite for changes in packaging materials towards sustainability, shoppers are still not fully prepared to pay for such changes. So People feel that it is not practical or possible to suddenly do away with all packaging from all products because consumers still want to grab and go into convenience packaging. So, what um, happens hard is basically a kind of challenge here. People have enjoyed the convenience of plastic packaging for too long, and they're in a habit of that for some time to come. So it is a challenge to remove everything from uh, the present situation. Researchers argue that food industry should include marketers, logistics, food scientists, environment managers, in the design and development of packaging the supply chains. Since some of the slides I have shown there that is challenged in packaging design. And design is not uh, user friendly. So if, if, pack, if packets are designed to make them user friendly, people are going to accept them and they are going to separate and sort their food stuff nicely into different bins. So this is basically all about this paper. Many thanks for your patience and time.
And if you have any question related to the presentation, I will try to answer. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. That was really interesting. Uh, does anybody have any questions that they want to ask? You can type it into the chat. Um, just as a matter of interest, in terms of the, the consumer, is there any is there anything that we can do to, to get the consumer more interested to move away? Or do, do, do we think that the consumer is already moving towards sustainable packaging and is prepared to pay any additional cost? Yeah, that's a very good question, Maurice. I think uh, in New Zealand, consumers are very sensitive towards um, sustainability and they are going to adapt to all these new ideas and they basically say they are, just, they are, they are in fact requesting government to eradicate uh, the application of plastics in supermarkets. So they are very much in for uh, using different types of uh, other materials in place of plastic. In fact, many consumers are going to the supermarket with all those uh, fabric bags and they try to bring a stuff in their own bags to their cars and to their homes. So in New Zealand, of course, I can say that consumers are already very much sensitive to uh, using non-plastic uh, substitute, but rest of the world is different depending on different countries, there are different uh, orientation towards plastics. Yeah, so it's yeah. not uniform, I should say, yeah. Oh, thanks very much. That, that was fantastic, thank, thank you. Uh, I don't see, okay, no questions coming up. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Ram.